Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for this special bonus content on Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I was getting pretty frustrated in that I had not had a chance to image this comet yet and it was not going to happen here locally. Our weather has been horrible. Nothing but clouds and rain. And this new moon was not going to work out. I resorted to using a remote telescope last night. I have a complete video coming in two weeks, two weeks from this past Friday, on how to use a remote telescope and what results can you expect from that. I invite you to subscribe today so you don't miss out on that content. In the meantime, I used a Takahashi FSQ 106 last night from New Mexico skies. I had seen this composition in Sky Safari that I thought looked pretty intriguing. And the exact timing of this was around 2.30 mountain time. The composition involves three prominent stars in Ursa Major. There's Sigma 1 and Sigma 2 and Rho. And these three stars combine with the comet in making, I think, a pretty cool geometrical presentation. And here's the final result. This is my image with the comet with the three stars in Ursa Major. You can see the comet brightness is probably hanging in there. I'm going to let others estimate it specifically. These three bright stars are, I believe, magnitudes four and five, somewhere to four to five. I'm not sure the comet's quite there yet, but it does not look like it is that far from that brightness to me. I believe this star right here is a magnitude 7.7, .7, if I look that up correctly. The comet looks good. You can see the tail extending here. This image is a combination of red, green, blue channels, five minutes each, with one minute sub-exposures. Now I did stack it two different ways. I did one stacking for the stars, and I did one stacking on the comet nucleus because the comet is moving throughout this field for that 15 minutes, a fair amount, almost the full length of the tail. This is my final image. I'm pretty happy with this. A little noisier than what I would like, but 15 minutes, I'm pretty happy with it. And at least I got my toe in the water on imaging Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. I encourage you, if you have a long telephoto option, to go out and image it if you get the opportunity weather-wise. We are targeting that May 10th through the 15th, hoping that this comet stays together, continues to brighten, and gives us a tail that is spectacular. We hope to capture it in the landscape with more normal lenses. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Please send me any images you get. Love to see them. And let's keep our eye on this. This has just been a short, quick update on an image I had a chance to capture last night, March 22nd, from New Mexico Sky's remote telescope on the Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. And until next time, clear skies. Mm -hmm.